I think we knew going into the Indiana game that we were going to have to put a lot of points on the board. Indiana has a big offense that scores a lot of points, and we knew that if we weren't focused, you know, we could have got beat. These guys are dangerous. They can throw the ball. They can run the ball on the outside, and their receivers is great at blocking, and that's what they're going to do. I mean, I knew our defense would do their job. You know, we don't we don't have any slouches on, on our defense, but understanding that they have a high-powered offense, we know that we have to come in and, and put up a lot of points, uh, especially that they had just come off. I believe they had almost knocked off Ohio State the week before, and the week before that they had Michigan State. So, I mean, they had, they had some good games that came down to the wire, so we knew that this game would be similar to that. I mean, I mean it's a little bit nerve-wracking uh, when you think about it, because with us going in there, uh, as, I, as being the away team, going in their stadium, you know, they're going to make sure that they give us their, their best shot. And with us being undefeated going in there, uh, we had to make sure that we were focused focused throughout the entire game because they were going to bring it regardless. Uh, they were going to give everything that they had, you know, to you know, try and pull an upset on us. off of the draw run and here goes Wadley. Nobody near him. He's going to take it to the house. I don't see any flags. It's going to be a touchdown. Touchdown Iowa. It was a draw play. Draw play to the right. Somehow I ended up on the left. The linebacker seemed like he didn't even see me. I gave him a um, shoulder roll. It was off to the races. It felt like I was running for days. Wadley, 65 yards and a touchdown. It's part the feeling that you stay for. to LaShawn Daniels. He gets outside. He's going to go into the end zone. Touchdown. Touchdown, Iowa. Terrific blocking off the left side. The power play, uh, the defense crashed. Um, my offense lineman did an excellent job. Jordan Walsh pulled around and kind of just sealed sealed uh, one of the backers, one of the defenders. And, you know, I just read his block, bounced it outside, and it was an easy walk-in touchdown. Touchdown, LaShawn Daniels, his second rushing touchdown of the season. Music, the great communicator. Use two sticks to make it in the nature. I'll get you into penetration. The gender of a generation. The path of every other nation. Look your way to go to meditation. This chapter's gonna be a close one. Smoke rings, I know you're gonna blow one. All on a spaceship as a beer. Third quarterback draw. Still on his feet, dives. Touchdown. What a play by C.J. Beathard. I think that was a good play call by Coach Davis. It was a point in the game where it was right before half. We wanted to go on with a touchdown, and uh, it was a quarterback draw called. And uh, you know, I kind of got around the edge and, and knew that I was going to I had to get in. I wanted to score, and we had to score before half, so I was going to do everything I could to get in the end zone. So I dove over the top. Obviously, should have held on the wall. Um, you know, coach, coaches, coaches, you know, give me, give me crap for that all the time about you know holding on the ball. But um, you know, I got over, and and uh, it was a touchdown. It was a big play in the game. Here's CJ on a quarterback draw. He gets to the five, dives for the goal line. He's over. That's a touchdown, Iowa. Touchdown, CJ Beathard, giving up his body which he probably shouldn't be doing, but that's the competitive nature of number 16. Right on cue.
They'll back the pass. Hawks run a delayed blitz. He steps through it, and now he's going to be wrapped up and flung down by Josie Jewell. Yeah, I just came out of blitz, um, coming on the outside. Uh, spun off the tackle or the guard uh, and saw him trying to seep through the middle of the field. Um, and we just brought him down right there. Better being chased. Tough situation for him to be in. Throws underneath and has the first down. What a throw by Better. Running left, throws sidearm back to the right. That was a cool play. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to lie, it was a big play. It was a third down conversion. I got flushed from the pocket and. Uh, <clears throat> was rolling left and, and Matt was kind of running to my right and it was a tough throw. There was a guy running at me and, and I was able to give him the ball and, and he made a great catch and that was a conversion, a big conversion of the game. Anytime that you can convert on those third downs, you, you keep the drives alive and those turn into points. Better perfect strike to Vandenberg and Vandenberg inside the five, first and goal Hawkeyes. Yeah, that was a, a, a good job by Matt getting open, um, good protection by the offensive line. I saw they went to a post safety and you know I knew the team was, was going to have a shot at, at getting a completion there and and he got open and, and I threw the ball to Matt and he, he did a good job at, at catching it and, and uh, getting down into, into our zone and we ended up ultimately scoring off that. Daniels tries to get to the outside, cuts it back inside, there's the touchdown Iowa, LaShawn Daniels gets his second of the day. That one was big, more goal line goal line stuff and at this point uh, you know we're really trying to make a statement we're really trying to impose our will on Indiana and uh, they call the goal line outside zone play um, I took my normal steps offensive line kind of got the defense sealed off on the back side and then got the defense running on the front side and my fullback ran in there ran in there make it made a great block uh, which created an open lane in the middle and, and I just put my foot in the ground got my pads down and uh, just got what I could and uh, dove, for the, dove for the end zone and you know it was a touchdown and I was juiced up about it. I was excited. That was probably one of the more touchdowns I was excited about all year. Uh, that one I was just really feeling it. CJ, play fake, roll out right, throws it to the underneath man, Kittle. Kittle dives for the end zone, and he is over. Touchdown. Touchdown, Iowa. Yeah, uh, the touchdown of George. George did a great job getting me in the end zone. He tried to, tried to one-up me by, by diving over. Um, you know, you can, you can be the judge of who's better, but it was a great, great catch by George, great play, and ended up being a touchdown, so it was a, a big play. So it was play action. Just roll back to the field and uh, CJ hit me. I jumped because I knew the guy was going to take out my knees because he was a corner. It was really unathletic landing, but uh, uh, that was awesome. He had a bunch of guys there, but um, my big thing was you know, I held on to the ball and they didn't have to review it. So obviously um, I get a little bit of, uh, I think I win that one. I'm not going to be uh, humble about that. I'll beat CJ in something. Waits the snap, four wideouts, it's a double slot. Good protection. He's going for it all. Oh, he's got a man open. Picked off. Desmond King. Welcome to the Nile Kinnick Society. They ran like a, a wheel by the number two and a post by the number one receiver. So I kind of, you know, bait the quarterback into throwing it. And I see the quarterback throw it, so I kind of like fishtail it, turn back around, and just make a play on the ball at the highest point. And, uh, I got there just in time before they see the call. That is the eighth interception of the year for Desmond King. And that ties the all-time record, including from Niall Kinnick, the legend in 1939. The Hawks will get to 9-0 for just the second time in Iowa football history.